Welcome to eTeacher Plus for Pakistan. eTeacher Plus for Pakistan is a program that provides virtual professional development opportunities to English language teachers and learners across the country. These opportunities are provided through global online courses, massive open online courses, webinar series, and lots of alumni engagement activities. The program is fully funded by the Regional English Language Office at the U.S. Embassy Islamabad. In Pakistan, it is implemented by Evolution. Under the eTeacher Plus for Pakistan program, we have introduced eTeacher Pakistan webinar series. These webinars are going to provide a platform to our alumni to share the gained knowledge, resources, and tools from the online courses with the wider audience. Today, we have a very interesting topic to talk about. We'll be talking about developing empathy through English language teaching. To present on the topic, we have with us today Nayab Iqbal. She is the subject specialist in English. She has done BA honors in English and masters in English linguistics from Karachi University. She has the experience of working in different capacities from primary, secondary, and tertiary, and also including working as a teacher trainer. Naya recently completed her online course with us in 2020, where she learned about integrating critical thinking into exploration of culture in EFL setting. In addition to the eight-week online course, Nayab also completed some MOOCs with us on professional development for English language teachers and to solve methodology. So first of all, let's understand the fact that today our classrooms are globalized. A teacher needs to understand the fact that the students who belong to our classroom are from different cultures, different social economic backgrounds and ethnicity. We need to understand the fact that in order to build up a positive learning environment, it is very important to inculcate empathy, compassion, and care into our curriculum. As teachers, we need to understand a responsibility of advocating for a positive environment in a classroom that does not promote racism, bullying, or harassment of any kind. Today, Nayab is going to share with you different strategies, resources, and tools that you can integrate in your English language curriculum to foster empathy. So let's have Nayab talk to you about why do we teach empathy and why it is important to inculcate into English language teaching environment. Thank you, Sidra. And I would also like to thank Rello for creating a community of English language teachers where they all can interact, collaborate, and learn from each other's experiences. So the topic that I have selected is developing empathy through English language teaching. I would like to talk about our goal, our contribution as educators. And when I think about my contribution as an educator, it is to help create responsible citizens. Citizen who can take care of their schools, their fellows, their communities, and the world that they live in. It is about raising individuals who are not indifferent or ignorant beings, but the ones who take responsibility, initiative to make this world a better place to live in. And according to me, the best way I can help individuals become better human is by teaching them empathy. I know that the moment we talk about empathy, we feel that empathy is something that we are born with. It comes naturally to us. But I believe it is time that we explicitly teach empathy by integrating it into our curriculum and it should become a part of our regular class discussion. Because individuals and societal success depends on raising and educating individuals who can who can take care of others unfortunately we have misled today's generation into believing that success actually depends on um, test scores academic achievement or personal gain and as a result of that there has been a measurable shift towards self-centeredness especially at a time when the world needs more individuals who can give of themselves. Develop through emotional attachment with other human beings 
Empathy is our ability to recognize, feel, and respond to the needs and suffering of other people. Studies have linked low empathy to increased bullying, rigid belief system, and civic apathy. As educators, it is imperative that we not only focus on com completing our syllabus, our course outline, but we should also aim for making our students become better individuals. According to an article from the Greater Good Science University of California, highly empathetic people are those who are able to challenge prejudices. They're able to understand and relate to the needs of other human beings. They, they are the ones who inspire mass action and social change later in their lives. So before I move on to talking about empathy in language teaching, I would first like to discuss about our role as an educator. Our role as an educator is not only limited to teaching our students the course content, but it is imperative for us to develop and form meaningful relationship with our students, where we can provide them with an environment that they can open up, share their problems, irrespective of the test scores or their learning ability. So we need to care about our students as individuals, because when we as teachers, as educators, show care towards our individual, our individual student, we help them develop the same feeling towards other human beings. Also, it is very important for teachers, no matter what subject that they are dealing with, that they become mentors to their students. Mentor, mentors who their student can look up to and go for any kind of guidance that they need. Okay, so um, like I just mentioned that how important it is for us to um, um, talk about empathy, to inculcate in our students uh, qualities like empathy, compassion, because all these behaviors foster personal growth and lifelong learning while contributing to the growth of society. We need to also inculcate in them the ability to work in team, to collaborate, to coexist with their fellow class, classmates. Because you know, classroom is sort of a microculture. Whatever they do in classroom every day, uh, that becomes a part of their, their personality. And later on, they can imitate that, they can imitate this, the things that they have gained or learned in their classroom in the real life scenario. Okay, so also it is important for us to make them familiar with issues that exist in our surrounding. It is important for us to help them become better and well-informed individuals. Okay. Now I would specifically talk about our role as language teachers. Okay, so uh, we all know in language that in language teaching, there is a lot of room for choosing our own content, for planning our own ma teaching materials. And in the last few decades, there has been a lot, a shift from teaching English language through traditional grammar books to teaching language through authentic resources. So there are ways of keep teaching language. And one of the very important thing to keep in mind is choosing authentic resources. So there are a variety of authentic texts like documentaries, TED Talks, books, movies that we can choose 
for teaching our individual, our, our students. By choosing a variety of teaching material and stories and texts, reading texts, we can help our students develop different perspective. Because when you, the more you expose them to reading material, to, to real life scenarios, real life context, the more they are able to relate to different characters and the more they are able to gain different perspectives. Okay, the other thing that I would specifically like to talk about is that it is also very important for us as teachers to inculcate in our students a habit of reading and develop in them a love for reading. Because it is only through reading that they gain an opportunity to expose uh, to be exposed to and found, find about different worldviews, different opinions. And learning different worldviews, different opinions is what makes an individual a tolerant person. And tolerance is a very important uh, characteristic that we need to inculcate in our students. Also, it is not only that we should motivate our learners to read but also as language teachers we need to develop in them the habit of questioning whatever they read we, we need to develop in them curiosity because when it is only when they start questioning different things that they come across different worldviews uh, different beliefs and develop critical thinking that they'll able to they'll be able to look at things from a wider from a broader perspective also um, the uh, one of the other very essential tool that i would like to uh, suggest here is connecting curriculum to the real world service activities so curriculum is not only to follow something that is given there um, and just read the lines, but it's much more beyond that. So we need to connect whatever we are teaching with the real world scenario and we can do, do that by giving them a variety of tasks or projects. Okay, uh, for instance, um, I would just share my example. Um, I. I would he here uh, reinforce the idea that in our class, it is very important for us to talk about things that matter, talk about real issues, so that our student understand what a specific group of individual feel, and they're able to relate to those individuals, and they're able to develop that kind of um, emotional uh, bond with different individuals that they work with. So, for instance, um, in recently in my uh, first year English class, I chose a text on bullying. Uh, it was uh, it was related to bullying, and as a warm up activity, as a pre reading activity, I asked my students uh, if they themselves has faced uh, if they themselves have faced bullying in their life, or if not, then if they have seen anyone else face suffering from bullying, and if they themselves have done anything to stop this. Uh, the idea was to, uh, one was to uh, develop in them the interest towards the reading text that they were about to read, and other uh, to help them understand these social issues that, you know, that happens around them, so that they, they can actually uh, become a responsible citizen and take initiative towards anything that is happening wrong. And uh, so I started my uh, class with a discussion on bullying. And then I later on in the post reading session, I discussed what are the ways through which we can counter bullying. Also, um, I chose uh, one in one of my sessions, I chose a text on racism. Um, so it was um, a stories based on racism. And the idea was again, besides teaching uh, language the the reading uh, reading skill the idea was to help them understand what people who have faced racism in their life have gone through 
it is only through relating or learning or understanding the feeling of other individuals that we develop that connection with them that we understand what they have been through and understanding the suffering of other individual is very important to become better and empathetic individuals again um try to inculcate in them values like honesty accountability personal growth we need to bring in into our curriculum uh, integrate these things into our curriculum also i mentioned that how much is it important to um, focus on reading so as language teachers again one of the very important activity that can help ex them expand their world view is uh, by recommending them the book so what i do is that i um, i create a list on goodreads and i share that uh, list with my students and then my focus was on you know um, inculcating in them empathy and you know compassion and kindness so i came up uh, with a novel uh, by khalid husaini the kite runner and i shared it and you know the the background story uh, just to tell them what the story is about and it, it's about personal loss personal um, you know the struggles and the 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 story that different plots and uh, how it's a story of redemption also so i did not reveal much about the story but i just uh, gave them an example and i uh, told them that this is one of the novel that they could read and apart from that i do share a reading list with my students and they can read any book from the list that i share so this is just one example um okay now uh, before i uh yes so before i just discuss about certain things that we need to um, focus on in our class things that are that are required to become a part of a regular class uh, class discussion now i would specifically talk about some class activities for that can help us teach these values to our students uh one thing is that sharing stories um we all know the importance of storytelling for our uh, for teaching any language for our language classroom and we all know uh, the role of literature how much exposure uh, good literature provides um and uh, stories help our students of different ages even the primary cl class students kids and the university undergraduate students um with a room to you know imagine and um, enhance their imagination skills apart from that uh, stories have got a way um, of you know uh, uh, got a way of connecting individuals uh, with other human beings right so i think it is very important for us to develop a culture of storytelling in our classroom so if we encourage our students to share their stories with their fellows among each other this will again create an environment of learning together understanding each other and in return growing together so uh, this is very important activity that we can do with our students i would just share uh, that there are different tools and software through which we can um, motivate our learners to write or share their stories so pictello is one of the apps where learners can um, use visuals they can upload their pictures and they can uh, use this software this this app to write their stories also uh, when we talk about empathy um, a very important part of developing empathy in our student is developing in them a habit of reflection it is through a uh, continuous reflection that we all learn to um, think or assess our, our ourselves as individuals and this is how there is a room for becoming better with every new day so one of the ways of encouraging or um, motivating our students to reflect um, is by in asking them to maintain journals and again we all know as language teachers that diary writing or free writing activity are some of the basic um, tools of teaching that we normally use in our classroom but uh, 
specifically when i talk about empathy and reflection then journal uh, maintaining a journal or a writing a diary is something that is definitely going to help uh, the language teachers in um, achieving their goal okay other thing that i would like to share that i focused on um, uh, Uh, previously also i mentioned how much it is it important for us uh, to help our students develop different perspectives so with skype or communication i wanted to say that um, whenever you are conducting for instance speaking session so one of the activity that we can do in our classes is to connect our students with individuals uh, belonging to different background different countries we can help them uh, connect with the native speakers so this again has two advantages one we all know that when we are teaching speaking skills and if they interact with different individuals native speakers and also different uh, speakers from around the world through skype communication um, it it provides them a good chance of improving their speaking skills right and besides that once they come, connect with individ individuals from different countries different background belong the individuals belonging to different communities this is something that will again help them develop multiple perspective and become tolerant more ex you know uh, develop more acceptance and more tolerance in them okay uh one more activity that i would like to share in this uh, regard is the um activity of pen pals so um we can encourage our learners to make pen pals individuals different individuals um uh, people belonging to different culture connect with them and share the stories of their life with each other Uh, because this is how when you connect with individuals different individuals on a personal level you learn a lot about other people's life and learning about other people's struggle is something that help us become better um, humans okay so um i i shared that um, how uh, we can use different materials and in the beginning i uh, discussed that movies using uh, good movies for language classroom is again um, it's an authentic resource material and it's a good activity so i would just share an example that again i did with my students so i chose this movie movie freedom writers um this movie specifically related uh, is based on the theme of racism uh, it also has a reference to the incident of uh, holocaust so what i did was that i asked my students to i just gave a brief introduction of this movie that uh, what is it about and then i asked them to watch this movie and later on we had a discussion related to different characters in the movie i also integrated with it a writing task one once we were done with discussing different characters and the story the plot and what different characters were like in the story how did they change how was their journey then i integrated a writing task i asked them to write an essay on uh, the world needs more tolerance and again the aim was to connect uh, activities for teaching them different skills and again help them think that what is it that that a world lacks lack of tolerance and what can we do as individuals also uh, after they were done with this activity uh, i recommended that um, they can read a book the diary of a young girl by anne frank uh, so i recommended this book to my students uh, one more thing that i would specifically like to talk here is that we really need to uh, talk about this idea of inclusivity in with our students we need to discuss why is it so important to make this an all inclusive world there sh there should be a voice against discrimination there shouldn't be any discrimination and there there should be an all inclusive culture so one way of helping them understand the importance of inclusivity is by sharing with them the stories of marginalized communities so what marginalized communities have faced in their life so for instance in one of my sessions with my students who are undergraduate student first year students i discussed uh, stories of 
transgender community um their individual stories what they have been through in their life so this was something that i discussed with them because i know that these are we really need to discuss uh, tough issues with our students they need we need to help them keep their eyes open to things that are happening around them and how they themselves can take initiative against anything wrong that is happening around them okay so uh, one more thing that i would uh, specifically like to uh, mention here is that uh, for developing human values basic human values like empathy tolerance acceptance compassion kindness it is very important for us to develop active listening skills in our students and it's a common uh, practice that most of the time we all uh, listen to other person just to respond or just to reply or reply back but the real listening is when we actually listen to understand to feel what the other person is trying to communicate this is how we can connect to different individuals so it's very important to develop good listening active listening skills in our student and as language teachers again we have a lot of room to develop in them better listening skills okay so um Uh, this was uh, from my side on empathy um the reason that i chose this topic and i i i know that i might have discussed few activities or maybe a lot of activities that we all normally do with our students but i explicitly talked about ways of integrating empathy in a class discussion because i just want um us language teachers and all teachers in general to understand their our responsibility or our role is not and should not be limited to just completing our syllabus but we must not forget that we are nation builders we have a huge responsibility on our shoulders and it is only uh, through talking about real life issues real sharing real scenarios that we can fulfill our role or we can do justice to our role as an educator i would also like to share a few resources with my fellow language teachers uh, one is american english it has got very relevant class resources that we all can use for planning our lessons and one more uh, resources tedx it's a very good um, resource which uh, we all can use for uh, getting ideas about our lesson plans Thank you so much, Naya, for such an insightful session. I'm sure our audience will be going well equipped with some of the resources and uh, tools that they can integrate in their English language classroom. If you have any comments, questions, and/or suggestions, please feel free to write us on eTeacherAtEvolution.com/pk. I wish you all happy teaching and learning, and we look forward to your feedback on this webinar. Thank you so much for joining us today.